when you want to create a service as a startup or solo entrepreneur. You may have concerns about the development environment, infrastructure, and TB connections. Now, let me reveal the essential techniques for building a startup backend in just one hour. This page shows that easily collects only the necessary data from my personal TB MySQL using SyncTree. I will demonstrate how easy and fast it is to import data using SyncTree. All you have to do is follow along with the video. First, sign up for SyncTree. Let's signing up with Google on SyncTree on 101 come. Once the window opens, enter your Google email address and click sign up to go directly to the studio page where you can start developing. The infrastructure setup is complete as soon as you sign up. The app section includes a presets and sample examples that can be easily used. Today, we will connect MySQL to SyncTree. So click on Storage on the left sidebar and then Create Storage. Type in the storage name as my first MySQL. Select the TB type that you have specified in Select Type. If you select MySQL, a total of five fields will appear where you can enter your personal TB information, enter the other fields with your user information. Once you have finished entering the information, perform a connection test to see if the TB is properly connected. If the message success appears, click create. Now, you can call the TB from your SyncTree development environment at any time. Now that you have added the TB, let's connect it to SyncTree and create a query to extract data from the TB. Each query can be created through the Query Manager and can be called in any biz unit you want. Click on the left Query Manager and then Create Query. Let's name the query get data. Feel free to name it. We will also specify the query aid as get data so that it is not confusing. I want to easily fetch data from my TB in this format. The query statement will be select from sample basic store JIX. Let's add one more query with a simple conditional statement and finally create a procedure that retrieves two columns. There is no need to create a separate procedure in SyncTree. You just need to know the procedure name and if it is connected. You can call it anytime. Now, let's create a biz unit to retrieve the data in the TB using a query block. Create an app and add a biz unit to it.
We will use three types of blocks today. The first is a connector that connects to the Maya security be created in SyncTree. The second is a query block that fetches the desired data. And the third is a procedure block that can call a procedure. For ease of use, let's divide the section into a code section block in the helper section. First, click on MySecure in Storage block to create a connector at the top. You can use this connector to load the MySecure TB into BusyNet. We will load the TB created in MySecure connection. Next, we will call a query statement from the DB using the query block. You can register the query statement by query aid in the query manager on the left sidebar. We will create a total of three blocks, the two queries just created in the query manager and the block using the procedure created in the DB. After creating a procedure in the DB management tool, you can call it in the procedure block by simply entering the name of the procedure you created. Now, let's put the values that we have called one by one into the variables in response body and test it. Let's make this BizUnit into an API so that it can be called from outside. SyncTree provides an infrastructure environment that allows users to call APIs anytime, so no separate infrastructure construction is required. You can create an API from this block with just a few clicks in both the Studio and Portal. First, let's proceed with Studio, and I'm sure that it's really simple. Since the development was done in dev, it is pushed up to stage and production. When you press save, build revision active, the push button is activated. When you click the push button, 
you can move the bezinet to the next stage. The blocks in the stage are also processed in the same way. Finally, when you proceed with build revision, active in production, the work in the studio is completed. In addition, the queries register in the query manager must be pushed for each stage to be used. So push the queries previously registered as well. Creating an AP in Portal is even more simple. First, go to API Portal. When you access the portal, click API, create API in the left sidebar, and enter the API name, API display name, and description as you want. After entering the information, click Add AP in the API resources. Then you will see the busy nits that have been pushed up to active in production in studio. Let's create an API using this busy net as a resource. If the API is created, click the API and then click Document to see the API specification. You can use this API from anywhere by calling the endpoint address. The work in API portal is completed. Now that we can use this API from anywhere, let's call it simply with Postman. As I called it with the end point in the API specification, the values are displayed properly. Now let me show you an example of using this API. I will display it on a web page created with Bubble to expose it to the front end. Only those who need it can follow this part. To use the API in Bubble, you need to use the Bubble API connector. Add the API connector plugin and register the API. Match the end point you created and the call method and click initialize call. After checking if the data has been received correctly, Let's try to use the AP. Since we will expose the AP result value with the click action, we will click a button and add about 34 text elements. Click Get Data from an external API to get the desired values from the API result value that you just connected. Finally, we will add actions that appear when buttons and pages are loaded in the workflow. If you need a detailed explanation of Bubble, please refer to the Gagstelic Syncree video on the Syncree YouTube channel.
Now, only testing remains. When you click the preview button in the upper right corner, you can easily view the values of the TB table. Today, we build a backend for startups using SyncTree. SyncTree allows you to easily construct various backend logic, including TB connections with block coding. In addition, you can make it into an API and call it from anywhere. We hope that you can reduce infrastructure setup time and achieve infinite growth with SyncTree. Thank you.